Hello there, Pisces. How are you doing? I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are going to be doing your love reading for April 2022. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support of my channel. Okay, so let's take a look at your your overall energy present power wow you know um this reminds me of the chariot card you know um with the chariot driver and then the black horse and the white horse it's about taking control of the power that you have within yourself um and then we have decrease on the bottom so let's take a look at this um you know pisces it's this energy of not allowing, what I'm getting is not allowing your emotions to overrun your actions. You know, sometimes when we're kind of emotional, whether it's a really euphoric emotion, you know, or if we're really sad about something, it can kind of like take our present power, our power of ourselves out of whack, right? Um, you know, like when you fall in love, <laughs> you know, sometimes all of a sudden you uh, forget everything else going on in your life. Or if you're really sad, right, then you may not have the motivation to um, kind of do those things that you really want to do. And I, that's the sense that I'm getting there. So let's see how fi that fits into your uh, romantic love life. So let's see what your soulmate cards have here. Hesitation, creativity, sacred journal, journey, and forgive. So there is a sense of needing to forgive. And sometimes that is about forgiving ourselves, right? Um, there's hesitation here. Past heartbreak, broken trust, afraid to move forward. Now, this is coming out of fears, right? Um, fears of being heartbroken again, fears of being disappointed, you know, um, not allowing um, ourselves to sometimes release those emotions that are holding us back from moving forward. And part of that is forgiving, you know, forgiving yourself for, um, you know, any part that you played in a heartbreak, um, forgiving yourself for choosing. Sometimes we have to forgive ourselves for choosing, you know, somebody that wasn't good for us. There is, um, or sometimes there is a sense of having to forgive yourself for not seeing the red flags. That's what they're saying to me, right? So there is this sense that, you know, um, one way to come out of that energy is to get really back into your create creativity. You know, this can be anything. This can be drawing. This can be arranging flowers in a vase. This can, um, you know, just uh, coloring. I know a lot of people are into coloring. Cooking. A lot of people really enjoy cooking. It's a way that they show their creativity. Um, it doesn't matter what you do, but this helps you to get back to your inner child and to heal your sacral chakra, um, which is part of, you know, your passions, right? And understanding that this is all part of your sacred journey. Sometimes, I know it's um, hard sometimes when, especially you, you may feel at this time, especially with decrease on the bottom, you may feel sad at this time about, you know, um, a relationship that ended, whether it just ended, right? Or it ended years ago. It does not matter. Sometimes that energy is still with us. It's about trying to move that energy out um, so that you can move forward um, and allowing yourself grace and compassion as you're doing that because that can be very difficult. So let's go to the tarot and get some more details for you, Pisces. Let's see what we have here. Your present energy, star. Yeah, you're healing. Part of healing, though, they're saying, is also wishing, okay? Wishing for what you want in the future. Um, you know, one of the things I have found is that when I'm in one of these, you know, difficult energies, is to just make a list of something that I would like to have in the future. It doesn't have to be a thing. It could be an experience, right? Um, but I start concentrating on that, and it helps to... Um, 
you know, move your energy away from the past. <laughs> because every minute that you're kind of like hesitating, it's because you're thinking about the past, you're not thinking about the future. So as much as you possibly can, when you find yourself thinking about the past, start concentrating on something that you would like to have happen in the future. And it doesn't have to do with love. It can, but maybe there's a, a trick a trip you would really like to take one day or you know um you know may you want to go skydiving or something you know um really kind of setting your sights on how you will feel when you can you know have that experience um because this is all part of it is part of your healing is to be looking towards the future um, yeah, we have the nine of pentacles on the bottom. I feel like, you know, you're kind of, you have your freedom, you're independent at this time and maybe working on your career, building your pentacles. And that is also part of the healing process. That is part of it. So let's take a look at your obstacle. Yeah, the empress. You know, the Empress to me is kind of like, you know, the Phoenix Rising card, getting that new fresh start in life, um, understanding that you're building something for yourself in the future. You know, um, right here, this energy is kind of like, you know, just at a standstill, not moving forward, not really moving backwards, just kind of like standing still. So one of the things is, is that you really are, you have this in your energy. You really do want to build a beautiful life for yourself. Some of you may even be wanting to have children, right? Um, and then we have the five of pentacles on the bottom. This is an energy of loss, right? Of feeling like um, you may not be worthy of love or, um, you know, that love is just never going to be in your you know, uh, in your timeline, you're just kind of like, almost like, yeah, it's just never going to happen for me. And it could be because not only did you have one heartbreak, but you could have had several. Um, the other message that I'm getting, and this won't resonate with everybody is that for some of you, you could have lost a child. Um, so you could have had a miscarriage or you could have, you know, lost a child. And that this is really kind of something that is heavy on your heart. And my heart goes out to you. Um, if that is your case, Pisces, you know, there's this energy of feeling like you can't move forward. You, or you may have found out that you couldn't have children, something like that. So you're, you're in this energy of... Um, I'm getting a, an, a sense of it just doesn't matter, you know, um, that perhaps, you know, um, love doesn't matter. You know, I'm not sure um, anything in life matters anymore. You know, just this, um, they keep drawing me back to her face, you know, just a real sad, like, it just doesn't matter. Now, we have yes here. So I feel like this is a message that the way that you're feeling is not where you are going. You know, like that yes to me, the yes I'm getting here is that you are going to have love in your life. You are going to experience those things, the, um, those loving feelings that you are really wanting to experience. Um, and sometimes what we have to do is understand that things don't come to us always in the package that we think that they're going to come in, right? Um, the, you know, when we surrender to the journey, because you have the sacred journey here, right? When we surrender to the journey and, um, allow the divine to work for us. And that is a lot of that empress energy, allowing the universe to work for you. That when you do that, guess what? You do the healing and you get your, this is also about wishing, getting your wishes granted. Um, you know, we have two cards here and both of them are major arcana. So I do feel like you are um, in this energy of, you know, this is kind of like a major pivotal point in your life. Um, so let's see what the advice is. The advice is the nine of swords and we are going to clarify, but understanding that um, there's a true sense of understanding that 
what you are anxious about, your fears. You know, this is sleepless nights. When you are anxious about these, this is a good time to really kind of um, tune back in with your intuition, with spirit, to ask for guidance, to surrender your anxiety and fears to the divine, to allow, um, you know, to allow the divine to do their work for you. It is taking a lot of strength and I am going to take this. It takes the strength to overcome the anxiety and fears that you have right now. But the true um, message that I'm getting here is that this is part of your sacred journey and that there is something beautiful <laughs> ahead for you. It's about having hope for the future. You know, having hope for your future, having hope for your romantic love life. Um, and for some of you, having hope to have children um, at some point in the future. Uh, page of Wands, this is all about learning. All about learning. Learning about your own self. Understanding that you do have the strength to overcome the fears that, you know, you are feeling at this time. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is here. Ten of Wands, putting down those burdens. And then the Emperor. Okay, so <laughs> really interesting. Um, I feel like you have your true soulmate out there. The, the message I'm getting that is really clear. The Emperor, and we're not going to talk about gender here, but the Emperor, your true soulmate, is waiting for you. Here's the thing. You're not stepping into your empress energy. Um, when you step into your empress energy, then you are going to come into alignment with your emperor. Wow. Um, okay, so the message here is to step into your empress energy. You have to overcome your fears. Surrender to the journey. Step into your strength to understand that it's time to drop the burdens of whatever happened in the past and focus on your future. I mean, focus, focus on this. Um, such a lovely energy. Pisces. Wow. Such a turnaround. Um, okay. Empress on the bottom with the Queen of Cups. And they're showing me that, you know, the Queen of Cups is intuitive. Um, is, you know, very much your energy, uh, loving yourself, uh, understanding your value, right? So that you can step into this em empress energy and, you know, have that rebirth of who you are and who you want to become. Really lovely. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify here. With the star card, we have the five of swords, the king of swords, the seven of wands, the lovers. See, um, you know, I have to say, Pisces, I have done quite a few of the love readings for the month of April. You're the first one that actually has love showing up. Um, it's very interesting. I feel like April in the Northern Hemisphere is a spring month. Um, and for some reason, especially with the spring equinox and everything, I thought, oh, there's going to be lots of love and cups all over the all over the table. And that is not the way it is it, for some reason or in, uh, another. It's really interesting. Yours has a much more of a loving energy because look at we have lovers on the chariot here, you know, really moving forward. And here is that present power is about stepping into your present power of staying a present and looking forward to the future, hoping what it is, hoping for what it is that you want instead of kind of like, you know, keeping the past here. Um, it's getting a really crystal clear that with the, you know, the King of Swords and the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords to me is the mental anguish that we put onto ourselves a lot of time, right? We rehash things, right? We um, go over the last words we said to that person or the last words they said to us or, you know, that, you know, goodbye kiss or whatever it is, right? Um, the things that we wish we had done or had said but didn't. Um, and it's about forgiving yourself, uh, uh, recognizing that at the moment you were doing the best that you could. It's, you know, um, sure, when you go... Um, I feel like I have this hair here. Um, 
when you feel like, you know, oh my goodness, I should have said this or I should have said that. We all have those <laughs> that play out in our head. But, you know, I also, uh, you know, I had one of those situations where I didn't say what I wish I had said, right? We all have them. Um, and then I really sat with it for a minute and I realized, you know, the divine was giving me the grace at the time to not say what I really wanted to say. Because I probably, you know, if I had said what I really wanted to say, <laughs> it, it, it wouldn't have been kind. It wouldn't have been who I truly am, right? Um, it would have been in the moment. And so I feel like sometimes what we have to realize is that when we don't say those things, um, it's really because we are given that grace at that moment to not say those things. Um, and you know, the other thing is, is that if you had said those things, you may have actually regretted them. So it's about putting, you know, putting the, the mind games that you're playing to yourself, you know, the, the regrets of what you could have said, should have said, didn't say, you know, it doesn't matter. It really and truly doesn't matter. What matters is where you are right now and where it is that you want to go. Um, now, if you said something that you regret, okay, and you want to forgive yourself and maybe even apologize to the other person, that can help you to move forward too. But I really get a sense that you, you were more of the victim of somebody else's words or actions. And now you're getting on top of it. You know, you're being able to see how what other people do and say is a reflection of them and not a reflection of you. Um, and sometimes I have had to repeat that to myself like a hundred times in a day because when you're going through something that's painful and I think you really are Pisces or have been, um, you know, sometimes it really is that we just have to continually um, give ourselves affirmations or mantras that you are not, you know, a bad person. You don't deserve maybe what hap has happened, but at the same time, it's um, not a reflection of you. You only um, are a reflection of your own words and actions. So think of it that way. And sometimes that'll help you to shift. So let's see what this Empress energy is. Oh my gosh, judgment. Um, I, you know, there's this sense of, oh my gosh, look at this, two of cups showing up. Okay, so this is your obstacle. Your obstacle is you're having a difficult time stepping into who you truly are, right? Um, ready to meet the soulmate, um, rebirthing your life, getting a fresh start on your life. I want you to know that this energy, all of this beautiful energy is in your aura. It's almost as if you have to, um, they're showing me like the glass slipper, like Cinderella's glass slipper. It's not about being Cinderella. It's about stepping into the shoes, literally putting your feet into the shoes of the person you are and who you want to be. Um, and I feel like Part of this journey has been you feel like you're not in your own energy. You're not wearing your own shoes. <laughs> um, and I, I know you're wearing your own shoes, but you know, the shoes, the shoe that you are wearing right now, um, as the person that you are when you're in this energy, those shoes don't fit you anymore. You're ready for new shoes fancier shoes, right? Um, it's about really stepping into this energy of loving yourself, of nurturing yourself, of building the family or the home that you want. Um, and, you know, really mastering your emotions. With the King of Cups here, it's about mastering your emotions and not allowing, you know, even with, you know, the tiger and the lion, um, it's this energy of mastering the power of your emotions. Doesn't mean that you um, don't accept your emotions. You accept them, you feel them, you thank them, but you don't allow them to stop you from becoming 
the person that you really want to be. The nurturing, loving, um, home and hearth energy there. Because you are getting ready to step into a new world. It's really lovely. Um, you have so much of that energy in you. So it's really about taking a look at what, you know, asking yourself what is holding you back from that. It's definitely your fears. So what are you afraid of, Pisces? You know, um, that's the one question I would ask. What are you afraid of? What your If your um, fears are that you don't have the strength to truly um, continue on, you know, to finding somebody new, do you... Um, Perhaps to not becoming a mother um, because there is about going within and finding the truth. There's something here about finding the truth. Uh, I feel of what you are truly afraid of. You know, when we actually recognize what our fear is, it's almost as if you're shining a light on the fear and then the fear is gone. Understanding that you have the, the strength to look at this. For some of you, um, I just got, you may still kind of be somewhat in a relationship with this person and you're afraid to look at the truth of the relationship. So that could be part of it. And maybe, um, you know, oh, I have the tower on the moment, on the bottom. Yeah, it's the epiphany. They're saying it's the epiphany. You know, you may have children right with this person and so you know that is part of your fear what you know um what you know if you were to divorce this person or whatever you know that what would happen with the children maybe about finances so um i want a couple more here yeah, there's the chariot again. I love that chariot. That's cancer energy. But, you know, it comes back to this present power. You have that energy. Cancer is very much of a family, you know, type of energy. Wanting a family. Wanting that happy family. Um, so, yeah, you're learning. You know, there is something here about learning how to have a relationship last a long time. I also feel like there's somebody, a message, you know, with the Page of Pentacles. Um, pages are about messages. Um, okay. Um, okay. They're also saying that, um, you know, pages are children. If you are in kind of like, um, you know, a separation from one of your children at this time, there's a lot of children energy here. You know, you may have an adult child and the two of you have had some kind of conflict, right? Um, if that is the case, you know, um, there is this energy of a, a message of love with the Knight of um, Cups and then the Ten of Pentacles. Like, I feel like you have the strength to overcome this when you look at the truth of the situation. It kind of changes it and helps you to drop the burden of something. I feel, Pisces, like there's almost this energy of you are trying to heal the situation. You're almost like in the way. You know, um, the situation, uh, the divine is trying to uh, maneuver this. Uh, the divine is trying to bring in this emperor for you. It's almost the sense of your fears are preventing <laughs> the um, divine from doing their work. So let's see what the Ten of Wands is. Oh, this is such lovely energy. The moon, there's your, you know, your fears, your subconscious fears again. You know, we have the Strength card and the Queen of Cups again. Dropping the burdens, okay? Dropping the burdens so that you can intuitively, I think you intuitively know that you have the strength to step into this Queen of Cups energy. And I'm going to point out, you know, even this Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups has have children with them, right? There's this true love, uh, a true sense of love and nurturing. Um, it could be either a child, like an actual child of yours, or it could be um, children. You may be working with children. The other thing I'm getting is it could be your inner child, like really nurturing your inner child. 
um, as part of this journey and that you have the strength to do it. And by doing this, you also are bringing in this true romantic connection, a really spiritual divine connection. The emperor and the empress are like, you know, the, the top of the, uh, of the heap. It's amazing. Um, and it really is. It's kind of, it's on your path. So let's see what the uh, Soul Truth card is. And Pisces, I do do um, personal readings. So if that's something you're interested in, the link is in the description box below. So let's see what we have here. What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? You know, that could be part of going within and looking at this truth. You know, um, the expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectation and replace them with gratitude. Be grateful. You are being summoned to be more to summon to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. And I think that that is part of it. You know, I kept saying there's a, a sense of needing to surrender to the divine, of understanding, you know, your fears are that you are perhaps afraid that you can't control this situation, right? Present power, trying to control um, a situation, but all that control is only preventing what it is that you really want out of this situation. Um, really interesting. Um, and you know, it is sometimes really hard to surrender. It really is right. It's hard to surrender, but it comes because we don't feel like we can trust the universe, right? Um, we have to give up <laughs> that, that, uh, feeling of not trusting in order to be able to surrender and really just pray about it. You know, just, um, divine, you know, I leave this up to you. You know, you have done what you can do. You may be feeling like you haven't done enough, but you have done your best in this situation. Now it is about stepping into this Empress energy and allowing, allowing the divine to do their magic. Chemistry, deception, heart to heart conversation, worth waiting for. See, there you go. Um, I feel like, you know, there is some deception here. There's a lot of chemistry here. I think we had the King of Wands at one point. You know, there's a lot of chemistry here, but there also was some deception. I feel like, you know, it, it is about this heart to heart conversation. Uh, remember, uh, we I was saying something about, you know, the, all the things, thinking about all the things that you wish you had said or whatever. I feel like you have a chance to say them, but here's the thing is because you've had a little time to think about it and to overcome, you know, overcome the, the emotions of the moment, right? Um, and to gain a little bit more wisdom uh, by looking at the whole situation from a bigger picture. It's kind of like when you have this heart to heart conversation, you're going to bring your best to it, right? You're going to have the grace to say what you want to say, but also in a very tamed way. Because look at both that lion and tiger could, you know, take that man down, right? Um, but they're tamed. And I feel like that's what you have maybe done. Manifesting miracles. Unbelievable. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. It is about trusting the universe, trusting your heart, trusting your intuition, right? Um, going within. You have um, the high priestess and the hermit here, um, also very spiritual, going within to find the answers and then trusting, 
you know, really put it in the hands of the divine. You are about to manifest that miracle. I love that. Love, love, love it. All right, Pisces, I hope you did uh, resonate. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. And um, please be pa pa compassionate, um, compassionate and gentle with yourself as you're going through this. And I do wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.